thank you so much for that opportunity. I mean, that was, that was really strategic. And I really appreciate that. You know, I can't believe how quickly things move. Yep. Incredible. From the conversation in the morning to, to you know, <laughs> to a, a, a meeting like that. As well. And I met a lot of interesting people. Um, so I'm excited. And I just wanted to thank you for that. No and, problem, uh, man. I told you when we met, you know, a couple years ago, I said, we going to do it big. We're going to do it right. Yeah. And, you know, God always works. He's right on time. And today, right. you know, was the right time to introduce hip-hop public health education center in Mount Vernon and hip-hop stroke and we just want to um, tell everybody about you know how important it is to be healthy yeah. so Dougie Fresh reached out and said mayor you gotta do it I said Dougie it's done and right. here we are you. right now right. we're gonna do uh, this is the this is the teaser this is the right. preview and doctor if you just tell everybody sure. a little bit about sure. who you are what you do sure. and so I'm, I'm, how we're gonna I'm, make Mount Vernon healthy so I'm Dr. Lajade Williams, and I'm a Columbia professor, and I'm also the chief medical officer um, of neurology uh, and the director of the Stroke Center at Columbia University Medical Center. My whole life is, is really dedicated to reducing health disparities and promoting health equity. And uh, one of the things that uh, we've identified um, uh, based on my background as a neurologist is the challenge that communities like Mount Vernon face uh, with diseases like stroke, like heart disease, like high blood pressure, diabetes, obesity, and the human consequence and the human toll from a lot of these diseases. So one of the things that we want to do is start at the very beginning, which is culture, which community engagement and improving fundamental literacy skills around these conditions. Because unless we don't improve that basic fundamental knowledge of the condition, it's difficult to build the behavioral skills required to combat it. And so one of the first things we want to do is to begin with, a, with what we're going to call a stroke literacy campaign, aka hip hop stroke. And what we want to do is we want to come into Mount Vernon and we want to saturate the entire city of Mount Vernon with the knowledge and the skill sets that they will need to save a life, God forbid, if it's occurring in the throes of stroke. And so to, to do that, we're going to engage Dougie Fresh, who I founded the organization with. We're going to engage my entire hip hop stroke team. Um, and we're going to engage some of the, the leaders um, in the Mount Vernon community, along with some of the key stakeholders that, that the Honorable Mayor feels is necessary to be on board, to first design a, a citywide program um, in the different, and the different phases that's going to be required to implement it on a pretty dramatic scale. What we also have to do is we have to measure the impact of what we do. Mm -hmm. Anything we're going to do in Mount Vernon, we have to measure the impact. So when it's all said and done, we can point to the outcomes and we can say this worked because of X, Y, and Z. And that's why, you know, we're starting with ABC. And that's why we go to the beginning and we want to make sure everybody knows about education. It's a clear mission to make people healthier. And this fits right into our Mayor's Healthy Home Initiative. And the objective is we want every home healthy. So, you know, knowing that Dougie Fresh Doctor is here to make sure that we bridge the gap, provide critical knowledge. Mount Vernon is ready to just make Mount Vernon help. So you see in the beginning of something brilliant. Brilliance is right there, but it's gonna be even more when we get hip hop public health everywhere in the city. So just get ready, Mount Vernon, and sign up right now as we get ready to make our city more healthy. Stroke ain't no joke. Say word.